this is the pathway of the sciatic nerve. Sciatica refers to the condition where your vertebrae have collapsed, they're pinching on the nerve. That's causing numbness and pain and tingling all the way down. But as the nerve is encapsulated within your fascia, as you can see, there's many points where it can be pinched and compressed along the way. I don't know how to use this green screen without making myself look like a 12 year old with makeup on. Anyway, there's also something called piriformis syndrome, which is right here, shows up right here in the glutes. Piriformis is a big meaty muscle that lives between your tailbone and your femur head. It compresses on your sciatic nerve. When it gets tight, which is likely because of all the activities that we do or don't do, then it'll compress on your sciatic nerve as well. In general, because your nerves and your blood vessels live within your fascial system, if your fascia is a little bit tighter in the back line of your body, think hamstrings, calves, then you will be cutting off some blood flow, compressing the blood vessels. You will be compressing the nerves, cutting off some sensation or maybe heightening, tingling sensation. When your fascia is tight, it's stiffer, and when it's more, when it's looser, it's more fluid. So we kind of like, it kind of oscillates between these states of firm and fluid. The way to free up the nerves so that it can communicate better, have better signaling, and also just not feel as compressed is to loosen up the fascia. Regardless of whether your sciatic nerve is being pinched up here or not, all the muscles and fascia along this line are likely freezing up around the nerve to protect it because of the signaling that's running down it. Whether you have sciatica due to the spinal impingement or just the impingement, these techniques work either way. Relax your fascia, you need to put it back into a more fluid state. Heat is really good for this and also massage is really good for this. Stretching is not always great for this. Sometimes when you stretch cold tissue, you're just pulling on it and it doesn't warm up and relax and become more fluid unless you're holding that stretch for a really long time, maybe moving a little bit through the stretch and doing it in like a heated space as well. DIY massage compression is my favorite way to release the fascia and relax the fascia because it works really quickly. So if you're having sciatica symptoms, take a warm bath or do some foam rolling in the glutes, the hamstrings, the calf, maybe even the bottom of the foot.